Just F, since you've watched the film, you know, how would you evaluate your performance then? Um, there's a lot of great things we did. Um, there's a lot of great things I did. Definitely mistakes uh, out there for the entire offense. You know, 98 snaps, I think it's definitely noteworthy. No, no penalties. Um, that's unheard of on the road on, in an opener. Um, you know, that's a testament to the way that we've been working and you know, the way that we've bought into what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, there's definitely you know, a lot of really, really good things we put on on film. The way that we battled on third down, the way that we ran the football, the way that we got open and, and threw and catch. Uh, 31 completions is, is def a 30 completion game is definitely a goal of ours as a receiver and quarterback group. And you know, it was great to hit that. Um, and there's always some things that you, you know, go back and look at and you know, you wish you would have had back. And, and I can name a number of different things that I'd love to have back. And that's part of the process. I think you have those moments in every game. Uh, and you know, that's that's the beauty of the position. That's the beauty of the sport. And you know, the good news is we got a great opportunity to go back to work and put it all together and have an awesome opportunity to. Go get one against Indiana State. Have you noticed the guys bounce back relatively quickly from what was, you know, certainly disappointing? It was disappointing, you know, because we put in a lot of hard work and we fully expected to win, and we did everything necessary to win. We just, you know, didn't, you know, put it all together. Um, the the personality of this team is very, very mature. It's very, you know, it, it we're from top to bottom, from senior to freshman. We're a hungry group. We know what we're capable of. I think when you trust in your preparation, I think when you trust in each other, I think it's easier to bounce back from those kind of things. You know, we're a hungry group. One game doesn't make or break the season. I'm not comparing us to the national champion, but last year they started. Ohio State was 0-1. There's a lot of football to be played. And, you know, there's a lot of great things and, you know, for this team. You know, and we're, we're definitely excited at the opportunity to, to get in front of our home fans and, and go get win number one. How important is it to assert yourself early? in this game and if you guys have anger or whatever emotions you have left over for Marshall to kind of knock that out early in the game. Sure. I think that you know we should be playing with the chip on our shoulder. We should be an upset football team. Uh, to assert ourselves early, that's always the goal. We want to start fast. Offensively, defensively and special teams, we want to set the tone of the game from play one and be able to maintain that that level. You know, keep our foot on the gas pedal the whole game uh, against this opponent, the same as any other opponent. But I would say uh, there's definitely an emphasis from Coach Hazel on down to us. We know it's at stake, and we know that we got to start fast and uh, you know, you know, give them no chance. And I think if we take care of what we need to take care of, I think we'll be just fine. Defense does a lot of different kind of things. Going to have guys coming at you from all different ways. How how comfortable do you feel with the O line and you know, you to be able to see kind of what's happening with what happens? Indiana State has a really, really good defense. Looking at the film, it doesn't matter what division they play in, it doesn't matter where they are. They are a well-oiled, smart defense that we'll probably see as much volume of looks this week as we might all season. You know, with that said, you know, a lot of preparation is gonna have to go on that and is from quarterback to offensive line to be able to sort it out. Receivers gotta see a lot of different coverages on the fly, you know, and make those adjustments. Um, we've definitely got a big task ahead. You know, Indiana State is a good team, and we're really looking forward to getting a chance to for the challenge and getting a chance to play them. You know, we're definitely going to have bring our A game and have our ears ready to see some looks that we might have never seen before. They do a lot of different stuff, and you know, if we just focus on doing the things that we can do, you know, staying within ourselves, you know, not trying to get too cute, just just running our stuff, uh, our bread and butter calls will be just fine. It's all about process, controlling the things that you can control. You know, if you pay attention to the external uh, factors, you know, what, what people might say, what people do, you know, it doesn't help us win football games. You know, we, we watch the tape, we make the corrections, we take the positives from, from it, and we did a lot of great things, and you learn from the negatives, and you keep moving forward. Uh, this team, again, is, is very mature. We understand, we can see the big picture. We bought into Coach Hazel and everything that he's preaching to us. You know, and we just we're just trying to stay in the now. What can we do now? You know, today we just wanted to have the best Wednesday practice that we could possibly have. You know, tomorrow it's continuing to put everything together for a great Thursday practice, and then we'll build up to Saturday. Not looking ahead, not looking back. D'Angelo Yancey, we've talked about him quite a bit, obviously, but for him to be able to have.